do you know how to differentiate between healthy and unhealthy foods? It's a simple question, yet the answer holds the key to maintaining good health and preventing chronic diseases. Healthy foods you see are typically nutrient-dense. They provide a wealth of vitamins, minerals and other beneficial nutrients relative to their calorie content. Think fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats. Unhealthy foods, on the other hand, are often low in nutrients and high in calories. These are your processed foods, sugary beverages and fast foods, offering little nutritional value and packed with added sugars, unhealthy fats and sodium. It's essential to understand the difference between these two categories to make informed dietary choices. So, are you ready to unlock the secrets of healthy and unhealthy foods? Let's delve deeper into the specific factors that distinguish healthy from unhealthy foods. First, we'll talk about nutrient density and the difference between whole and processed foods. Nutrient density is the measure of essential nutrients a food provides compared to its calorie content. Foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats are nutrient dense, packing a high amount of vitamins, minerals and other beneficial nutrients for a relatively low calorie count. On the other hand, we have processed foods which often contain high calories but few nutrients. These include sugary beverages, fast foods and heavily processed snacks. Now let's talk about whole foods versus processed ones. Whole foods, those that are close to their natural state like fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds and legumes, retain their fibre, essential nutrients and antioxidants. Processed foods, however, can lose these beneficial components during manufacturing while gaining unhealthy ingredients like added sugars, artificial additives and trans fats. To summarise, nutrient-dense and whole foods are the cornerstones of a healthy diet. Now, let's move on to the type of fats and sugar content in our foods. When it comes to fats, it's all about knowing the good from the bad. Healthy foods contain monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds and fatty fish such as salmon. These fats are friends to our heart, promoting good cholesterol levels and overall cardiovascular wellness. On the other hand, unhealthy foods are often high in saturated and trans fats. These are the villains of our heart health story, found lurking in butter, cheese, red meat and many baked and fried foods. They can raise bad cholesterol levels and increase the risk of heart disease. Now let's talk sugar. Healthy foods usually contain natural sugars which come with fibre, vitamins and minerals. The fibre helps slow down sugar absorption, preventing those dreaded blood glucose spikes. Unhealthy foods, however, often contain added sugars. Consuming these can contribute to obesity, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. So it's not just about avoiding sugar, but knowing which sugars to consume and which to limit. Remember, not all fats are bad and it's important to limit your intake of added sugars. Lastly, we'll talk about sodium levels and fibre content in our foods. Sodium, an essential mineral, is often consumed in excess due to its prevalence in processed foods and fast food. High sodium intake can lead to hypertension and cardiovascular diseases. To avoid this, incorporate foods with natural sodium content, such as vegetables and lean meats, into your diet. On the other hand, fibre is a nutritional powerhouse that is often overlooked. High fibre foods like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds are excellent for digestive health. They also help control blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. Conversely, a lack of fibre can contribute to digestive problems and increase the risk of chronic diseases. Unfortunately, many highly processed foods like white bread and pastries have little to no fibre. In conclusion, a balanced diet should be low in sodium and high in fibre. Keeping your sodium intake in check and eating plenty of fiber can significantly improve your health. Now that we've covered these key points, let's quickly recap. Healthy foods are nutrient dense, whole or minimally processed and contain beneficial fats, natural sugars, moderate sodium and are rich in fiber. They include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats and foods naturally low in sodium. Unhealthy foods, on the other hand, are low in nutrients, heavily processed and high in unhealthy fats, added sugars, sodium, and are often low in fibre. These include processed foods, sugary beverages, fast foods, and many baked and fried foods. The choices you make in your diet can significantly impact your health, potentially reducing the risk of chronic diseases like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. So choose wisely and nourish your body with nutrient-rich whole foods. 
Remember, making informed food choices can greatly contribute to your health and well-being. Thanks for watching.